angry guy here and men have abandoned society and are hoarding wealth. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Men have abandoned society and are hoarding wealth. So this is happening around us. I actually made a video about this previously, and we talked a little bit about it. We read some of the comments, but it's getting pretty crazy. So there are more people posting comments on this video. And I've said I have millionaires on this channel. I have guys who are living in the woods and saving all of their money. And one of the common themes here is that these men are hoarding their wealth, absolutely hoarding their wealth. I've talked about it before that these men would rather lose every dime than allow a Western woman to take it and live off it. Here's one comment. I've learned that we as men buy big houses and drive nice car next next drive nice cars for women. You're absolutely right. We don't need much. Most of the cars that we drive, we don't even like them. Lamborghini, come on. You could rent that maybe. The amount of money that it's going to cost you to, to insure it, the amount of money it's going to cost you to maintain it, the amount of money it's going to cost you to protect it versus tying a car from the 60s or 70s or 80s that you really liked. Most guys like older cars, older luxury cars. And that's what a lot of wealthy men do. A lot of what if the millionaires do, they buy old luxury cars and drive around in old luxury cars and they are living their best lives. Let's have a look at this one from user. How many happily married men have you ever seen? Almost everyone is quietly miserable making the best of a bad situation and counting the days until he is free. Most of them most of them are beaten down and a sad shadow of who they were before the marriage contract. Being single is amazing. I wouldn't trade the peace and quiet for anything. And you know what's amazing? When they hear that men are single and they don't want to marry, what women start doing now is they start also calling these men inkles or INCLs. And as you can see, I you know twist the word around, but you know who I'm talking about. Oh, you're the reason why you're doing this is because you can't get a woman. And it's like, bro, I'm a millionaire. Bro, I have half a million dollars in the bank. Bro, you know, I I, I have lots of money. I'm living my best life. I have a I, you know, I live in a house. I have an entire I own a house. The house is decked out, covered in everything I could want. I've got tons of money in the bank. I've got lots of disposable income. Why would I want to have a relationship with you? I'm very happy by myself. Oh, it's because you can't get a woman. No, I, I also have a house over in Costa Rica and another place over in the Dominican Republic. I fly over there whenever I feel like it, and I hang out with my girlfriends. I have multiple girlfriends all around the world, and it just pisses them off. Oh, that's because you're doing bad things over there. You're taking advantage of these people. How am I taking advantage of them? When I go over there, I take these women out to eat buy them nice meals. I've got plenty of pictures with my girlfriends. You know, I, they're really happy with me. I'm really happy with them, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, oh, well, they're not getting what they're supposed to get. What exactly are they supposed to be getting? What you, what you would be expecting in, in America? Guys, These you, you cannot make this stuff up. And of course, the, the people who are responsible for men leaving, of course, they're going to find every reason, every possible way to tear men down as they are leaving and say as many horrible things as possible. Let's keep on going because, you know, it is true. Personally, I'm just working OB on being happy. I don't need to be in a bucket load of debt to impress anyone. I pretty much get drama at work or driving to and from uh, at the store or gas station during the busy times at the grocery store, I even have them delivered to avoid the BS. Life really isn't too bad. I do have an apartment, bed, couch, etc. I told you what these guys are doing. I really like having three day weekends. We work usually four 10 hour days. I'm really the only one who makes drama for myself 
and that really works for me. Gone are the days of BS from an unproductive relationship. I told you guys, these men are happy. They're living stress-free lives. The only drama in his life is the drama that he makes for himself. Okay? Richard said, women told us to go away. So we have, and we love it. And now we have discussed the freedom. We don't want them back with all their drama and constant mood swings. The whole media has also spent 50 years telling men how useless we are, so they can't backtrack now to try and undo the social damage without looking stupid. Plus, it will take several generations to undo it, if it's even possible, which I doubt. The Pandora's box has been opened, and men are more than happy being alone. Guys, these guys are keeping all of their wealth to themselves. So what you have, what you're seeing now, are men working your hours in some in many cases, making less money, but saving more money as a result of not having a wife, not having children. So these men are hoarding this wealth, living simple lives of luxury. That money is adding up rapidly. And these men are then going and creating, in many cases, new sources of income. And again, they're still they're still living simple lives regardless of that additional money. They're just putting it in crypto. They're putting it in the stock market. They're just tucking it away wherever. And it's just sitting there and growing and growing and growing. And as a result, they have all of this wealth that is growing and, and, and amassing, but it's not returning to the economy. The money is not returning to the economy. It's not being spent by women. Don't forget that women make 80% of all consumer purchases. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Modern women make 80% of all consumer purchases, Okay. And they are more like they're the most likely to control the funds in the household because they're the ones who have access to the man's money. So they're the ones spending all of that money, even on their own, though they're spending out all of their money. But with, with men no longer marrying, not getting having children anymore, that money is no longer going into the economy. And if the government tries to come after men, I've said this plenty of times before. There was a guy who said that twenty thousand dollars a year is a lot for him. He could do a lot with twenty thousand dollars a year. 30,000. Now that's just ridiculous. Guys, if they come after men for the money that men have, if they try to tax men, oh, we're going to start taxing the taxing you for the more you, the more you make, then the guys will reduce the amount that they make because it doesn't make any sense. So a guy will literally cut his work back to let's say $50,000 a year and he'll cut himself down to that bracket and then he'll for, you know and he'll do work that allows him to form an LLC get paid have his funds paid to the LLC reduce his tax liability down to next to nothing collect medicaid <laughs> collect medicaid food stamps ACP which will go towards his cell phone or internet and essentially live all and essentially live damn near debt live debt free uh, while amassing all of that wealth and he'll put his disposable income in things like Bitcoin, crypto, the stock market, and just leave it there and allow it to grow. And what will end up happening is with it over the course of just a few years, you'll end up with these guys who have you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank, even though they're not making a ton of money on, on paper. And they have all of this money that's just stacking up and they're working fewer hours, making tons of money and it backfires on the state. Absolutely backfires on the state. I mean, and if, if you, the more you come after men, the more men will just, will just live below their means, work below, work way below what they, what they should be doing. I mean, it's, I'm just, I'm just being very serious. If you, if, if the government, comes after men too much and makes it miserable for men. Again, men don't need a lot to survive. There's a lot of dudes living in the woods right now. You've got guys living in cabins, living luxurious, living in small cabins that, you know, there was a guy who mo posted a comment on one of, on, on the video. And he said that, you know, he said he was 35 years old, 35 years old. And he was living in a, in a small cabin, you know, and he, re he retired he retired at 35. Retired, guys. Actually retired at 35 years old. 
And it's and this is and I want you guys to understand that reality. It's it, it's not a it's not a game. It really is not a game. You know, let me see if I can pull up that comment for you. Here it is. He says, I drove a 94 Silverado until 2019, guys. 94 Silverado. Wear my 20-year-old combat jacket that's threadbare and live in a tiny cabin. I retired at 35. Guys, this is not a game. These men have been walking away from for years now. They've been walking away for years now, realizing the juice isn't worth the squeeze. And if you keep going after these men, they'll just do what these guys, this guy has done. More and guys, if they don't leave, you know, leaving Western society doesn't mean doesn't doesn't necessarily even mean leaving the country. A lot of dudes will go get a piece of land out no in the middle of nowhere, build a cabin on it, put a cabin on it, and live a small cabin and live in extreme happiness, extraordinary happiness. They have in that cabin, they have every damn thing they could want every damn thing that they can want you know and it's 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 true it's really really true some guys will qualify for ssi right a lot of guys will qualify for ssi and once they qualify for ssi basically the government has to give them money and that's and that's not a joke either like, you know, the government is in a bad place. Mess with men. Guys will just go on disability. They'll go on SSI, you know, get $800, $1,000 a month from SSI. That's on top of whatever they have stashed away. And they'll use that money to cover to cover even a mortgage. Or if they build like a cabin or whatever, and they're not paying any real rent. You know, again, guys. Once they, once you've decked out your home, like like I said, once you buy, you know, you buy your. A lot of guys don't need everything, don't need a lot. A lot of guys are just live will live with just a very basic, a television or just a laptop and like a Steam Deck or a Nintendo Switch. And, but in some cases, for example, you know, you take a thousand dollars, like I said, thousand, two thousand dollars. This is these are one time purchases. You pick up a laptop, you pick up a PlayStation Five, and. Uh, you know, a switch and everything else, two thousand, three thousand dollars. These are one-time purchases. You have everything you want: television, flat panel, everything. There's really nothing else. Your home is fully furnished. There's nothing else for you to buy. You know, pick up games whenever you want to, and you buy them on sale or whatever. You know, your phone bill is is, is paid off. Everything is paid off. You're living, and if you're you're collecting SSI, you're getting ACP. You're collecting, you're collecting food stamps. <laughs> you're getting food stamps. You're getting Medicaid. Men will just live off the state and start stashing away that money. And you know, for and they'll they'll you know, in the case of SSI, they'll just open up a trust and put whatever excess money they have into the trust, or they'll put it in, or they'll put it in cryptocurrency. They'll put it right into crypto. And there's nothing anyone can anyone can do about it. They'll stash it away in crypto, and they'll just and they'll just relax and enjoy their lives and sleep. Guys, think about this: thirty million men have dropped out of the workforce, and that's a, that was that's those are not the most recent statistics. Thirty million men have dropped out of the workforce since the events of 2020. This is mad. Thirty million. Okay. Guys, these are and women are furious. The state is furious. The media is furious because there's no because where's this guys? It's only right now men dropping out of society that also create leads to more inflation because men create wealth. So that wealth has you know the money that they're printing it has to be tied to value. But if men are not in society creating value, then the money that they're printing isn't tied to anything. So that means that it's only we're only going to continue seeing more and more hyperinflation. And guys are putting their money in the stock market. Guys are putting their money in crypto. Some guys are buying gold and 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 uh, and other precious metals. It's it's kind of funny. Guys, it's like it's like a big video game right now and we're winning. We're winning and we're winning hard. You know? And it's like, oh, well, you know, we have our passports. We can just leave. And if you take our passports away, oh, well, we'll just live off the grid, and we won't we won't participate. 
you know, I've said this before. I never said I'm not I'm not praising socialism. I'm not praising communism. But guys, think about this carefully. Under communism, unless it was something like North Korea communism, for you know, under communism, let's say Cuba communism, guys, most men would live well because all we would do is develop skills that others need, and then we would basically go and and barter using our skills and get whatever we want from others that way. And we would basically create wealth that way, even under communism. So for example, under communism, everybody gets a house, a place to live. So we'd have our so we'd have our homes, guys. And we'd have our homes. We would have water, which is important. So we have our homes, we have water, we have a place to go potty. Guys, that's half the battle. That's a, that right there. You've 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 almost won the battle. Think about it very carefully. You've almost won the battle entirely. Okay, you are because you're guaranteed a place to live. You you have you have running water and electricity. So you have the basics out of the way, and that's not costing you basically essentially anything. Then from there, you know, there's really nothing else. You know, you just basically you, you, you barter using your skill sets and you you hoard your resources, you hoard whatever resources you have. And a lot of guys like, you know, give a, there's a lot of guys who will say, give me a Nintendo DS and a, and a couple and a copy of a couple copies of these games. And I'm good. I've, I've literally had that comment. Like for many of us, if, it, if things were like really, really bad, like, bro, hand me a PlayStation 2. Hand me a PlayStation 2 and a couple hits, great couple greatest hits, and I'm good. Like Tekken, like Tekken from the Tekken from 2000. Are you kidding me? And hand me a PlayStation 2, copy of Tekken, Tekken Tag, you know, was it Tekken Tag 2? And uh, what else? And there were some great RPGs from that era. My gosh, bro, hand me just, and I would just literally be there chilling. All right, that's that's most of us. We don't need a lot to survive. We would be happy. And then that's not even counting the pirating that many of us may, may be doing. You know, for example, pick up like, uh, you know, basically we have a PC, you know, gaming controller. We basically, a lot of us would be pirating stuff too anyway, just being real. You know, guys, we don't need a lot to survive. You know, I, I, I mean, get a, you know, download our favorite movies. I love Office Space. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite movie of all time. I watch. I can watch it over and over and over. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Another movie, one of my favorite movies. I can watch it over and over and over. And yeah, and then you know, guys, go fishing sometimes and just enjoy my life and no stress. And of course, there's going to be all. There's always going to be women that are trying to under communism. There's going to be tons of women that are looking for men to help them. So you know, we have excess wealth and excess resources. Bro, you can little you can literally have a girl for you know have a good time with a girl for a couple of potatoes, man. <laughs> Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Men have abandoned society and are hoarding wealth. What do you guys think regarding this and everything else we've discussed here today? Let's discuss it further in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.